this is Disney Cars Toy Club and today we're going to be doing another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle video and this time we're going to open up four Kid Robot Mystery Blind boxes and we also have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pop-up pizza play set anchovy alley so that's going to be fun to see what that looks like now we're going to start this video off by opening up the first of the four blind boxes now in the last video we opened up four boxes as well we got these three characters and we had one extra donatello so let's go ahead and get this one opened up and we have this nice shiny kid robot foil package inside now again these just came out like a couple weeks ago so these are pretty new and we got one of the ones that I was really looking forward to seeing this is going to be our crane and when you look at the picture of Krang on the box, I was kind of hoping there was going to be a little bit more actual detail as far as the parts right here instead of just a painted on picture. But oh well, there's Krang. Let's see, is there a weapon? There's no weapons inside, so you do not get a weapon with Krang. But here's what he looks like. He was always one of my favorite bosses to fight in the Ninja Turtle games. He's always got this crazy wild-eyed look on his face. Definitely one of the funnest villains for any series. We'll go ahead and set him right next to the foot soldier. Let's go ahead and open up the next mystery blind box. And here we go. And we got, is that, I think that's Rocksteady. I always get Rocksteady and Bebop confused, but uh, he does have a weapon. Let's get his weapon out. So he comes with this little blaster gun. And I'm kind of curious if you guys like the Kid Robot miniature characters more than the Disney Mystery Mini characters as far as the way they look. I'm still, uh, I'm kind of undecided on which one I like more, but I really do like these Kid Robot Mystery Minis. We'll go ahead and set that one back there. Let's go ahead and open up the third mystery box and then we'll open up the play set and we'll finish the video off by opening up that final blind box sitting back there. I'm just really happy we did not get a duplicate, at least yet. I might have just jinxed myself. Let's hope not, though. Let's see what we get in here. Oh, no. See, I jinxed myself. I shouldn't have said anything. So we got two foot soldiers right here. You know, it would have been cool if they had made these different colors, like maybe had one red and orange and gray. That would have been pretty cool, but oh well. So now on to the playset, and I've had this sitting in the corner of my room for about three months now, so I'm really excited to open this up and just see what's inside of here. Wow, that actually looks pretty cool. So that's gonna be the first thing that we're gonna see when we open the box up. Let's go ahead and take it out. Something fell out. We got this, we got that, and then some instructions and some stickers it looks like so it looks like we're gonna have to apply some stickers to this playset and right here this is probably yeah I was gonna say it's probably gonna be what shows us some of the characters now this is kind of an older playset so a lot of the newer characters are not on here yet but here's just kind of a quick look at it and it looks like whatever's the flingers right there it looks like those discs are the same as this I don't know and the box itself is supposed to be shaped kind of like a pizza box. So that's the reason why it looks like that. Right there on the bottom it says City Sewer. Now let's attempt to open this thing without looking at the instructions. It's always fun just kind of figuring stuff out. So here's the front and looks like it's gonna, yeah there we go. I'm gonna knock over some Ninja Turtles, oh okay looks like this should just snap in there we go so that snapped in up top and here's kind of a look at some of the play set wonder if this will yeah there we go all sorts of stuff's popping open for us so this door right here opens up let's go ahead and get this little bit of plastic off here so once you're done playing with this basically it'll fold right back up into a nice tidy box so here's a look at the playset with all the stickers on it and the characters sitting on there. And in just a moment, I'm going to show you guys everything this playset does.
So the first thing I want to show you is down here on this bottom half, if you notice there's a little lever right here and if you push it, <laughs> if you push it the wrong way then Rocksteady comes tumbling down, but if you push it the right way, so taking a look at the bottom half of this playset first, if you notice there's a little switch right here, and if you push it, <laughs> wow, he really went flying off there. Let's do that one more time. Let's, uh, let's put rock steady right there, and let's flip this. Okay, so if you flip it hard, they'll really go flying in the air, but if you just press it, they roll off. Let's try that one more time with Michelangelo. Let's see if we can send him in the air. <laughs> he did like a backflip. Alright, so that's the first thing about this playset to show to you. Of course, you got the doors that are over here that'll just swing open. There's nothing really too much going on with that. And up top, you have another door. And this door, if you knock Donatello over, you can close it. <laughs> but uh, more importantly, the light post has perfect handles for a Ninja Turtle character, a newer one. And you can just snap them on there. So if you have a bad guy that comes walking into the Pizzarama, you can take your Ninja Turtle and launch them right into their face. <laughs> so if a bad guy comes walking in like our orange dinosaur here, you can take your Ninja Turtle and drop them on the ground. So if you have a bad guy that comes walking into the pizzeria like he owns the place, then you can take your Ninja Turtle and drop them both on the ground. So let's, we're going to get this right. We're going to do this until it works. So if you have a bad guy that comes walking... So if you have a bad guy that comes walking into the pizzeria like he owns the place, you can take your Ninja Turtle and attach him to this light pole and then kick them right in the face right back out the door. So there you go, that's what the light pole does. And if you notice right here, this is gonna be where the pizza launcher goes and actually you can pop it in and out. That's where your pizza goes. You take this little thing right here and pull it back and then snap it forward and it should send the pizza flying out. So right here's the pizza. It's a nice looking golden brown pepperoni pizza that looks delicious. Actually, my favorite pizza here in the United States is Papa John's, and my favorite type of pizza is a pepperoni with black olive. Some of you guys probably don't like black olive, but I do. So you put your pizza in there, and then it comes popping out the wrong way. So let's try that one more time. So if you put it down in there correctly, and then push it down, it really launches out of there. Let's try to knock over some people. Let's see who we can knock over. All right, so let's go ahead and load our first pepperoni pizza in here. And let's aim for the foot soldier and crane. All right, I hit the foot soldier, but he did not fall down. Let's try that again. I hit both of them that time. It seems like these don't have enough force and weight to actually knock a character over. Let's try to hit Leonardo. Let's see if Leonardo will go down. All right, so I missed that one. Let's try one more time. And here we go. All right, so I hit his foot. Come on, I want to knock somebody down. There we go. All right, so I was able to knock him down, but these other characters, they stand up a little too much for a little pepperoni pizza to knock them over. But if you notice, these characters are actually the perfect size for this playset, which actually is kind of interesting. So if you do buy the kid robot characters, you can buy this playset and just kind of stand them in there. So now that everybody's kind of sitting out here, let's go ahead and open our final Kid Robot mystery box. I really like these. If you guys enjoy these mystery boxes, be sure and comment and let us know. And that kind of helps us decide what type of videos we're gonna do. And let's go ahead and open this final one. Had to grab my scissors back there and we got Raphael, nice. So did not get a duplicate. Let's go ahead and get his weapons out first and get it in his hand. So here's our Raphael, and to be honest, Donatello is my favorite Ninja Turtle, but this Raphael probably looks the coolest out of all the characters that I've opened so far because of how big his giant weapon size are. Those things are massive. I mean, where's, where's Michelangelo at? Oh, there he is. 
Look at the, I mean, look at the difference in the size of the weapons here. I mean, Raphael's size are just gigantic. But they look really good on them, and the red really stands out. It pops. That's a really bright, colorful red on him. It probably, again, is the best looking character that I've opened so far, in my opinion. But that is a very cool character. And we only got one duplicate out of the four that we opened today, so that's pretty good. And here's kind of a look at the back of the turtle shells. And his shell's a lot like Michelangelo's, where it's missing the line right there. In fact, I think that's... Yeah, it's the same exact shell design. Donatello's shell looks a little bit different, though. So I'm wondering when we finally get the Leonardo, I'm wondering if the Leonardo shell is going to be the same as Donatello's. But there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed our Ninja Turtle video. I really enjoy opening Ninja Turtle toys. So again, if you guys want to see more, just be sure and comment and let us know. This is Disney Cars Toy Club, and as always, thanks for stopping by.